let's just see how, how is everyone doing today hopefully you're having a great day and um, welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're my old subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch more videos and if you're my new um, new viewer please um, consider clicking on the subscribe button and please when watching this video don't forget to hit on the like button and share this um, video today i have an interesting topic for my africa brothers and uh, sisters and um please i noticed some of the viewers um some of them don't really watch the video to the end or they don't even watch it halfway before they make a comment okay at least before you make your comment i'm not saying you should not make your comment at least everybody's entitled to his or her own opinion but before you make your comment try to watch the video so you can try so you can try to get the message of the video instead of yours um commenting with that um watching the video um anyway i have i have an interesting topic today right i have an interesting to the topic today and the topic for today is uh what through the um Ghanaians and uh or should i say what through the ghana and nigeria played when south africa got their independent so that was the question i asked today and uh, i got a lot of comment from different people and there's not there's something i noticed between these um south africa and uh, Ghanaians. it's like they have <laughs> they have one spirit they have something that they have something against nigerians right because the comment i was getting from them i mean this comment i get was mostly from south africa right and they sound just like Ghanaians towards nigeria but i'm just going to read some of the comments to you and uh, let me know what you think about the co this uh, comment as a nigeria as a Ghanaian, as a um, South African, in fact, as a matter of fact, as an African. Um, okay, let me just read some of the um, um, comment ads to you guys. And the question is this, Did Ghana and um, Nigeria help South Africa to get their independent? And this person said, This person, his name is Lutu, Lutu Pen. He said, Yes, we did. He said, Number one, Nigeria set up a national committee against uh, apartheid NACAMP. In 1960, he said. Uh, number two, he said the late Sonny Nkunso composed a song called "Fire in Soweto" in 1977 to show support for the fight against Happy Head. Uh, he said number three, from 1966, Nigeria gave material and financial support to the freedom fighters in South Africa, and he said four. Um, then Nigeria Prime Minister Alaji Abubakar Tafawa Balewa sent a letter to the South Africa ANC militant on April 4, 1961, showing support for their cause. And he said, number five, um, Nigeria provided $5 million to ACN and Pan Africanist Congress annually. All right. And he said, number six, in 1976. Nigeria set up a Southern African Relief Fund called, called SAFRO for the purpose of bringing relief material to the victim of the apartheid. Um, he said, number seven, the military administration of General Obasaya contributed $3.7 million to the fund, and Obasaya personally donated $3,000 to the fund. Number eight said all Nigeria civil servants and public officers made two percent donation of their monthly salaries to the S S A F to the S A F R O. Okay, and said number nine Nigeria students skipped their lunch to make donation by June 1977. The total contribution to the funds had reached about ten ten point five million dollars. <laughs> And the donation to SF, SAFRO were widely known in Nigeria as the Mandela Tas. It's a number 10. Between 1973 to 1978, Nigeria contributed 30, 39, $39,040 $39, $39, to the UN Educational Training Program for South Africa. Nigeria boycotted the 1976 Olympic Commonwealth Games in 1979 as part of the uh, as part of our protest against apartheid in South Africa. 
So number 12, from 1960 to 1965, Nigeria spent over $61 billion to support the end of the apartheid more than any other country in the world. Number 13 says Nigeria refused to sell oil to South Africa in protest against the white minority rules. Nigeria lost approximately $41 billion then. $41 billion. $41 billion. Remember, this was our oil boom moment. As long as we fought apartheid, the money meant nothing. I can't say South Africa returned the favor. Today, I mean, this person must have, um, maybe he must have really, really know about um, what he's saying because the way he made this comment, you can see that he was very, very confident. But I guess, I guess most South Africans don't even remember this today. I wish they can go back to their history and see the role Nigeria really played in, uh, for them to get their independence. Although this uh, comment was from a Nigerian, but let me continue reading other people's comments for you guys. All right, they said I am a South African. In fact, this person, this person, okay, I'm reading another person coming. He said I am a South African. In fact, I am an African born in the South, and I appreciate every hit done by fellow African countries during happy hair time. The only problem I have is human trafficking and feeding of drugs to other fellow Africans by our own. You know, um, most of the time South Africa was saying um, other nationalities are coming to feed their people with drug but my question is this people these people that are taking this drug i hope there was no they were not folks to take this drug right because let's get this straight right because south africa always blame nigeria that we keep selling drugs to their people for example right but let's not forget that the U, uh, the mexico and the colombia are the ones shipping the drugs to the united states of america right but you can never see a united states of america citizen we meet a, a Mexican citizen on the street of California or anywhere in the United States and say, go back to your country because you sell drug, because you, uh, your people ship drug to our country. They will never say that because they know by the time you push this drug to the United States, people that want to take it is by choice. It's not by force. If I choose to be, to be taking drug today, I make that decision myself, right? Because if there is no demand, there will be no supply. Because the more you keep demanding, the more they keep coming out. The more uh, supply keep coming in, in the country, but uh, but to my fellow Nigerians that are doing this business, you all should know that this is illegal, and we are doing our safe police. If you are selling drugs, you should um, stop this place. I, I really beg you. But let me continue um, reading um, other people' comment, and this one says, "Proudly and honest South Africa, we will never accept Nigeria in our country." Should I do that again? In South Africa, so they said. Proudly and honest South African, we will never accept Nigeria in our country. Despite, despite what? It's not a secret. They know they knows the only African nation we will never have a relationship with. We are not begging for a good relationship, though. We're not begging, right? But the only thing I was saying is in Africa, we need to live together as one, according to um, the, the greatest reggae um, musician in Africa, which is Lucky. Do be. We have to live together as one. Whether you you from South Africa, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, we have to live together as one. He said we can never live with peace. We can never accept Nigeria. But uh, what South Africa face to understand is that the real enemy is within them. I was watching a video of Udimaya sometimes. He was interviewing a South African farmer. This South African farmer is a black man, right? And this South African man said. It is very hard for a black man to own a land in South Africa. I've never seen a South African black man speaking against these people. Is it that these people don't really know their enemies or is just they, are, they are just born with this natural hatred for their fellow black people? Because they don't just treat Nigeria people. It's not only Nigeria people they are treating like They treat Zimbabwe, uh, Lusitu, other nationalities around them, they treat them the same way. And the real enemy are, 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 um, are, are inside their country. They can't even raise up their head and look at their faces, right? I, um, I think the, the black South African own only 20% of the land in South Africa. And you people did not see that. You are busy saying that you guys are giving your people drugs. Where, where, I mean, other African countries are selling drugs to your people, whereas your people are the ones buying these drugs. They were not forced to buy this drug. 
But anyway, let me continue reading. I hope Africa really opened their eyes one day to see the real, the real enemy. And this one said, yup. This one said, yep. Nigeria was a strong anti apartheid supporter between um, 1967 and 1970. The Nigeria regime killed at least 2 million, mostly children in the Republic of Biafra who wanted to be part of we wanted to be apart, a part, apart from Nigeria. Um, it's a superficial summary of their anti apartheid atrocity is see available here. Although you put their uh, Wikipedia link over there, you know, some people are still very angry um, about Nigeria. What happened? Um, you know, what happened to them in 1967 about the Nigeria civil war? Um, about the Biafra, well, I think the civil war is a very painful. It was a very painful history because nobody will remember back then, and we don't still feel the pain. But my only advice is that we all have to move on, and uh, let's um, seek for the best future for Africans. I mean, Rwanda has a civil war too, but I guess Rwanda have moved on, and that's where they are where they are today. But let me continue reading, guys. And uh, this one said. With the help of the British, US, and many other people that colonized, but now hold the card of democracy and freedom. When advocating human rights, how many have died at the hand of the Arab or European? We may have our tribalism, but more people are becoming aware of the true enemies that have never done us any good. Exactly, this person um, was this, this person point out what I'm trying to say. Blacks is not, we are not the problem of ourselves. The real enemy, the real problem we have are the European, Arab, and uh, Asia, and uh, the Americans. Those are the people that don't want the unity of Africa. Those are the people that we need to channel all our hatred towards. Not black man against black man or black woman against black woman. Anyway, let me continue reading other people coming again. I just want to say, Luda, I was a South African. Hi, sorry, you say hi as a South African. I'm fighting the uh, re uh, reticul reticul rhetoric that Nigeria have never contributed. Too many politi too, too many politicians here saying foreigners are taking their jobs in order to secure vote. We love our brothers and sisters in Africa. I am not alone in my fight. God bless you, my brother. This was Andrew Shina. Some of the English will almost just bust my brain. Anyway, let me continue reading. And this one said, good job, Nigeria. South Africa was helped by almost all African countries, south of Sahara. This is our black motherland. We lost the land in the north, but don't hold it over SA. That since we helped them, they, then they kind of own us favor. That was not the spirit of OAU Committee for the Liberation of Africa. We, liab we liberated Africa because we understand that African freedom is weakened if they are part of African still being held by invaders. Yeah, and um, this person said, You fail to, li to liberate South Africa from the invader. The original settlers of South Africa are currently subjected to migrating Bantu from northern eastern Africa that invaded the territory across. Lipopo some 500 years ago and um, this person said this person said okay this person said as an ANC military veteran this is absolutely rubbish African countries only give moral support to South Africa one Kenya did not want us to Kenya did not want to see Kenya did not want to they don't want to see any of freedom fighters in their country. Two, the Francophone African states were hostile to the N A N C P A C A Z A P O Azanla and any other South African liberation movement. They said in Tanzania, uh, the living condition of the freedom fighter were so bad that the country protected, pro, uh, prostrated, and uh, Tanzanian soldiers killed many of them. The group, the group of um, Setris uh, Machinini, we are sent to Nigeria to study, and um, we are met with a hostile 
protest from the Nigeria students and one South Africa were killed. All the South Africa returned to Zambia immediately. Botswana, Lusetu, Mozambique, Tanzania, Angola, and Swaziland gave her people only free passage. They were not allowed to stay in the in these countries. Zimbabwe did not want to see any South Africa in their country. South Africa had the moral support of all African countries, but they were afraid of their corona master to play host to any liberation movement. Life was bad for our liberation movement in Africa than in Europe, where our movement was not restricted. Where our, our movement was not restricted to the camps. Um, Zambia, bravo, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda offer a building which housed the ANC headquarters and provided security and intelligence for all liberation movement. He said, although under the street control movement, not allowed to mingle with locals, but Zambia was the only country that gave shelter and military bases and told Corona matter to go to hell. Some European countries like Germany. Um, okay, then at least you admitted that Zambia give you um, hate. Right, but today, how do you treat the Gambia, see your country? If you said um, Tanzania, uh, Swaziland, Zimbabwe, Ole, um, Mozambique, Lusitania, only give you a passage. Do you know that if this country did not give you that passage at that particular moment, your mission might not be accomplished? Right, even if anybody give you just a cup of water during this freedom fighter, I mean freedom fighting stuff, anybody that will give you a cup of water, you should, you should appreciate it because. This was your country fight, but everybody decided to put hands together to help you in any little way they can. So don't say because uh, this one is not okay. You want them to put you in your in their house and give you uh, chicken and fried rice and uh, you know, I don't know how you want it, how you want them to treat you, bro. You were fighting war. Everybody is scared. Those people they were scared too. They did the little they can. So you don't have to blame anybody and say they only give you a pass. If they didn't give you passage to pass to pass to your destination, do you think? That mission will be easy or will be possible at that moment. Anyway, let's um, let me just um, continue reading. And um, before I continue reading, guys, please, if you are um, uh, my new so, um, new viewer, please click on the subscribe button. Click, 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 and please like this video. It's very important, right? Like this video. Like this video. My name still remains the heartbeat of nations. And um, let me see if I still have uh, any comment here to read. Um, Okay, this one said, okay, this one said, pure nonsense. Nigeria was once attacked by South Africa and destroyed some oil refinery infrastructure. It's for its anti apartheid stance. Nigeria is not a superpower to solve all your problems. Nigeria was very loud and overrunning in its uh, anti apartheid com commitment. People like you make doing good regrettable. Of course, because I remember then when I was small, that was an early. Uh, late 90s, early 2000, I because I was, I think they got their independent in 1994. I used to hear a lot about this South Africa, Mandela stuff. I remember people were donating because I don't know what this man is really talking about that Nigeria did not help. Maybe you want Nigeria to, maybe you will have packed your citizens and bring them to Nigeria before you know we help. I don't know why some people think, although it's all love, right? It's all love, it's all love. Please don't take it personal, don't take it personal, don't take it personal. I'm just trying to read that so that we. Um, some of us can learn more about our history. Some of us, some of us can learn more about the um, Africa history. It's all love, bros. Yeah, bro, my sisters, my brother. It's all love. Okay, no personal. Um, what is it called? Attached. And this one said, "What they know is feed us drug. How will people feed you drug in your own country? And you don't know, ashamed of yourself. You just look at what you are saying. Eh? <laughs> How will people come to your country and feed you drug?" That is that possible? You you accepted it. That's why. So, so but let me continue though. This one said, "Oh my, this one comment is very long." Look, let, I will just, let me read this last comment and I will run it up. And this one said, "The truth is that South Africa has been taken advantage of, as a result as a result of Nigeria's support to liberation movement of our country, both ANC and PAC, the freedom fighters of SA behave and." Um, had heard the law of all the countries they were excited to. Most Nigerians who came legally to, to South Africa after the liberation appreciate the um, benevolence Ubuntu of black South Africans. 
including the colored community of our land, the manner in which most tongues from Nigeria, including the so-called papas, pastors, and wasiyas, as they call themselves, uh, have no respect for even the God whom they claim to have sent them to preach the gospel, as though we do not have our own pastor who solely trusts God and not give means of some fake miracle. The drug paddling that they conduct in a country which they claim to have ebbed cannot even be tolerated in their own by their own government. Uh, Nigeria have by and large very um concerned towards the black of Africa. Specifically they gain the same uh, notoriety that the entire world accused them of. If you can conduct a quick survey on all the J of the world, you will mostly certainly find that Nigeria had right in there for drug and fraud and scam. America and Canadians have very tough law and don't give visas to Nigeria easily. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> when Nigeria has never helped them as they did to South Africa, the author of this species must not play dumb and destroy the fact when it's when in, when in fact Nigeria are having time having the time of their lives here in SA like no other country. They even conduct their tribal war in SA, Igbos, Ansa, and Yoruba, and hide it under the uh, the cold or infidious xenophobia. I have a Nigerian friend in my country who had law abiding, got fiery, and most hated by their own. Uh, compatriots as a result of principles. They are the fact and the reason why most of Africa have decided to take back their land as no pan-Africanism has ever encouraged any African country to be taken advantage of by any fellow African country. South Africa will be a most fair country by anyone outside of it who will extort crime into our country. Most South Africa are bound by the laws of all countries they are in and they are in and share no notoriety such as nigeria feeling entitled to um let me just share more life before i end this video but yeah and he said um that's why nigeria they don't give nigeria visa because of blah 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 what he say anyway maybe you should want to find that right the, uh, like he said he said if you go to almost all the j in the world um, there's a Nigeria there for one crime or the other. Maybe him, he has been to all the old jail in the world. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a sense. Maybe it's does a sin. I don't know. He said uh, US and Canada don't give a visa to Nigeria. Bro, maybe you should go on Google. I mean, do your research. And um, um, the most black people, I mean, the most Africa, Africa people that travel most, in, uh, that travel most to America are Nigerians. And the most black people that live most in Canada and Nigerians. The most black people that live most in, in the UK are Nigerians. The most black people that live, the most African people that migrated to the Europe are Nigerians. So bro, what are you saying that they don't give Nigeria a visa? The most brilliant black immigrants from Africa in the US are Nigeria. The most brilliant immigrants from Africa in Canada are Nigeria. The most, <laughs> should I continue? Huh? So anyway, like I said, it's all love. This is your first time. My name is still remain the heartbeat of nations. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. I will see you on my next video. Peace. God bless Africa. God bless Nigeria. God bless, God bless Ghana. And God bless South Africa. I will see you on my next video. Peace out. Ooh.